What's up everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. Today I have a fun resource for you. So week after week I get emails and comments that revolve around the same type of question. And it goes like this. Hey Travis, I'm a school teacher, I'm an electrical engineer, I'm a construction worker, whatever. How can I learn to code and change careers into software engineering? And they're always asking for specifics, like what courses do I need to take? What technology should I learn and in what order? What should I be doing week after week? How long does it take? How can I stay on track? Questions like this. So I try to answer these questions, and by the way, I love the emails, I love the comments, and I try to answer them when I can, but it seems like I always give the same type of answer, the same path for them to take into web development. So what I've done is I've created a document, a printable document that will get you from A to Z. This document answers all of the questions that I just posed, and if someone's serious about this journey, this document will get them there. So the document is a printable PDF called the six month coding blue. And if we take a look here, basically you pick a start date as that's a really important thing. What day do you wanna start? Be realistic, don't be like tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe two weeks from now. You choose your start date and then you work week by week through these 24 weeks of coding. So basically if you look here, you have week one and two or HTML. You learn the essentials, you learn next steps and semantics, and you learn forms and tables. Week three, four, and five, you learn CSS. Week six through 11, you're gonna learn JavaScript. You'll learn strings, arrays, loops, functions, uh, async, Ajax, object-oriented programming, all this good stuff. And then week 12, you have a break, or you can do some projects or catch up. And then 13, you go into the terminal, Git, GitHub, and so forth. So this blueprint gives you week one through week 24, what you should be learning week by week. And this thing is printable. So you find some good quality paper, you print it out, you hang it by your desk and you follow it until you're finished. Now I know what you're thinking, hey Travis, what does the essentials mean? What does forms and tables mean? Like how do I, how do, I do this? Well, that's why there's a supplement PDF that explains it all. So if you look down here, um, th there's a supplement PDF, right? Um, this gives you the course. There's only one course that you need to take. There will be some other things, but they're going to be free and I provide the links here, but there's going to be one course and you're going to look down here at lessons. You're going to say HTML. I need to do module HTML, the essentials through HTML forms and tables. So there's three modules for that. Then when you're done with week one and two, you're going to move on to CSS and you have nine modules here. This is CSS. CSS, the very basics through this project. There's nine modules. Then you move on to JavaScript. There are 16 modules and then the next thing and then the next thing. So you print out this blueprint, you hang it up, and then you have this supplementary PDF to guide you through it. Now, if you move on to resources, I provided some resources for you. So there's some pre-course motivation. There's a couple of videos I put together on how to succeed at this thing. And then there's a practical project. So if you're familiar at all with my Learn to Code Blueprint course, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute, this is the project that we actually work through in that course. So while you're doing HTML, while you're learning HTML, you do part one, two, and three of this project. Then while you're learning CSS, you do part one, two, and three of CSS, which is a continuation of the same project. Then you do the GitHub part, which you're gonna take your project and push it to GitHub. There's also a couple of videos that I put together, kind of real world examples of how GitHub works in a real life setting. And then there's the JavaScript part. There's the DOM project one, two, and three. So I've included a link to these projects. They're not gonna to go to the Learn to Code Blueprint. They're gonna to go to a GitHub repository that's gonna guide you through it as you learn to code. And then finally, down here at the bottom, we have a weeks calendar. So you can actually print out this PDF as well, or just print it out and cut this weeks part out. You're gonna hang this weeks part up, and so you're gonna choose your start date up here, and then so week one will be your start date. You're gonna go through and write down your dates for each week down here. And as you finish that week, you check it off all the way until week 24. So there's nothing special about this. There's nothing amazing. It's actually very simple, but learning to code in theory is very simple. Everybody has to learn the same technologies. If you want to learn HTML, you can choose this course, that course, whatever course, they're going to teach you the same things. If you want to learn CSS and if you want to learn JavaScript, they're all going to teach you the same things. You have to learn the technology. So a roadmap like this will work 100%. It will get you to the finish line. 
but you have to put in the work. And then finally, there's an instructions page that kind of gives you instructions on how all of this works. So I've provided this out on Gumroad. And if you're looking for a pathway from your career, which is not software engineering, or if you're just somebody that just struggles to stay on track and needs something to keep on track to learn to code and start applying for jobs, then this thing is perfect for you. It will get you from start to finish. Now, the next question you might ask is, why is this not free? It's just a printable PDF. Well, for two reasons. One, it's a lot of value in this PDF. I've put my experience into it, a lot of my own videos into it, and I think $6 is a pretty reasonable price. It's just a Frappuccino or whatever at Starbucks. Now, the other reason is because people don't value free things. When I made my Learn to Code Blueprint course free, I lost the retention completely of students because people were like, hey, look, this is this free blueprint. I'm going to sign up. But it wasn't imported to them. They just wanted to have it to check out, but they're still going to go struggle elsewhere. Well, having to dish out a couple of dollars here separates the people that are serious from the people that aren't so serious about it. So I'll put a link to this below. Um, anytime somebody asks me, how do I become a web developer? I'm just going to point them to this. This is going to be my new answer. And I think it'll work 100%. Now, the final thing I want to talk about in this video, with good news always comes a little bad news. And the bad news is that I've closed down the enrollment for the Learn to Code Blueprint course. Why? Because it's way outdated. The platform that we used for a lot of the courses, Skillshare, stopped its two-month free trial. So people have to, had to start paying for these courses, which they didn't like. And also, some of the courses shut down, and it's just out of date. There's a lot of good stuff in there, but I wouldn't recommend people now to go through the course because there are better courses out there. There are better options out there. And I just don't see that as the best way. So I'm actually going to shut that down and I'm going to be replacing it with this resource. Because if somebody asks me now, how do I do this? I wouldn't point them to the learn to code blueprint course in that curriculum. I would point them to this one. So if for some reason you just started the course and you're finding it beneficial, I'll leave it open for a while but I'm not gonna accept any more enrollments because I just don't see the value in it anymore compared to this new coding blueprint. So that's it for today. If you're one of those people that want to learn to code, then check out this resource. I've put all the information there for you to read and it will be my suggestion going forward. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one and you have a great week.